I barely made it back because it was my daily obligation to make the coffee for the second time. How do I get that job? It's so funny. You like I can hear Renee laughing. I'm cussing down the hall, and Renee's laughing. Like if, I wish it wasn't so funny because I'm making up bad words every day. I would be glad to make coffee. I just don't drink the coffee, no. and so I, no. I don't notice that it's gone. Anyway, without um, fail, without fail. But I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> sort well, of. I know you were you're working on a story about Eminem. Is it a classic piece of music that he bought? Well. So he, I'm a collector. You know me. I collect a little bit of everything. And, and so I get it. When, you, when there's something you want and you can't get your hands on it, you're willing to pay more than market value or whatever. I don't know that I would call it a classic, but, but he owns it. And now I'm concerned that he may have spent so much money on it that he's got to figure out a way to supplement his income. And I, I've been a collector all my life. I've collected baseball cards, matchbox cars, and now I collect advertising ashtrays. I know I'm kind of nerd alert. I mean, I, but it is what it is. It, Along the way, I've been a big music guy. Albums. Well, I was going to say, you've collected music since I've known you, and I've known you for, I don't know, oh, geez, a couple of decades now. At one point, I had literally a wall of albums, like 4,000 albums. I mean, I've kind of parlayed a lot of that stuff off. I get it. I understand the collector spirit. I understand the interest in things that interest you, like your hobbies or your your passions or whatever. I mean, I paid 80 bucks for an ashtray. Come on now. Something's wrong with me. So Eminem has the same affliction. He paid $600 for not an album, not a 45, not an 8-track tape, but an actual cassette. The least collectible music medium. Format? Or- yeah, a format. So A cassette. He bought a copy of Illmatic by Nas for between five and $600. And he said, I think it was back stock from a record store, what they had in the storage room. The tapes that never sold and they just hung on to them, that's the only thing I can think of. So he collects cassettes that are unopened and he paid like five, between five and six hundred dollars for Illmatic. I get it. If it's something you want, I searched down an album all over the world to see if I could find find a piece of music. So I get it. When you get fixated on something, you want it, you want it. I have helped people find records. What one was Buckingham Nicks? From before they oh, were in yeah. Fleetwood Mac. I mean, I helped somebody pay a couple hundred bucks for it. I found it for them. I found a point blank CD in Japan that I was looking for. So, I mean, I, I get it. I understand. Yeah, but, but that's a lot of money Eminem shelled out. What I'm worried about is he hadn't been able to really do much of anything. He hadn't had concerts in over a year. So, it, it, it was kind of set him back a little bit. But from what we understand, he has made a deal with the CDC to sing public service announcements. Really? Kind of like this. You better match yourself, get a booster injection, protection of COVID cases will explode. You only got one shot, do not miss your chance to go back to the pharmacy for a second needle poke. You better match yourself, get immune from Corona. You know that you're unprotected and exposed. You only got one shot, do not miss your second dose down at the pharmacy for your second needle poke. Good news is he made $583 for that. (laughs) Just about right. (laughs)